Welcome to the Roger of Love. Roger is a bachelor looking for the right lady. It gets lonely being rich and famous, just really popular with the ladies. I'm looking for that one girl who just does it for me, you know? For the past 10 weeks, nine beautiful ladies and one guy have been competing for Roger's hand in marriage. There have been some very magical moments and some very terrifying ones. I should totally have gone to go on that day with Roger, I hate you! Ow! Who is Roger? Don't hit me! I can't believe you won that challenge! I'm gonna strangle you! Ah! But it's been a whirlwind wild ride full of fun and adventure to help Roger find the perfect girl. Keep watching and you'll find out who gets to be the Roger of Love. Last week on the Roger of Love. Last week the rewards challenge was to make out. Mm. Chloe really oh, nailed Chloe. this challenge. Mm. Oh, Roger. Mm. <laughs> he ridding her the reward mm. and making, giving her a special place in Roger's heart. Wow, Chloe, that's the best makeout session I've ever had. Reward, Chloe got to a massage from Roger. A little lower? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oddly, Chloe, Milo did poorly in this challenge. Mm. Roger, I've wanted to kiss you for so long. Oh, um, uh, okay. <gasps> they lacked chemistry, making Roger feel uncomfortable and Milo feel rejected. <laughs> I love kissing you, Roger. You know, maybe later. I'm, um, I'm kind of, uh, not feeling well. Therefore, it was no surprise that Milo was in the bottom two. Milo, Katie, please come forward. I was impressed with your attempts at the immunity challenge. However, you both fell short. Milo, yes. I feel that we're lacking in physical chemistry. It was just awkward making out with you, dude. Oh. And Katie. To be honest, you're just, you're too young for me and it wasn't a problem until the makeup challenge because we wanted younger viewers watching the show, but apparently I wasn't going to get in a lot of trouble having someone who's only eight on the show. So this was a difficult decision for me to make. Roger, no. <laughs> Roger, you're the one for me. Milo? Yes? I'm sorry to say. No. Oh. You'll get to compete another week for my heart. Oh my god, thank you! I'm so thankful! Oh, Roger, thank uh, you! You may take your place. Can I kiss your cheek? Uh, um, sure. You may take your place. Thank you, Roger! Over with the other contestants. Okay. No! No! I won't give you my heart to break! Uh -huh. I won't give you my heart to break! I'm sorry that it's come to this. No! But the time has come. <laughs> To break your heart. No! Goodbye. No! Chandler, can you take care of this? No! So, Chloe, why do you feel you deserve to win? And what is it you love about Roger? Who's Roger? Uh, the guy that we're all, that you're you? all. You? Oh, I really like you. Uh, oh, you, you do? <laughs> yeah, you're totally hunkalicious. Oh. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my next interview is not for 15 minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, like, let's totally make out or something. Hey, okay. there's that hot tub in the backyard. We should totally try oh, that out. Um, actually, there's a camera over there all the time, but I have oh. a more secluded spot where there aren't any cameras. Okay, but I like cameras. Okay. So why do you think you deserve to win Roger's hand? And what is it about Roger that you like? Well, I love that he's like rich. I mean, he's really loaded like psychiatrist, a doctor. He said he used to be a limo driver. I mean, obviously he's the man of a lot of uh, substance. And uh, why do I deserve to win? Well, I look the best in bathing suits and uh, other clothes and I'm really, really attractive, and Roger's really attractive. So I think we'd make a cute couple. I mean, when we look so good together on magazine covers. So why do you think you deserve to win Roger's hand in marriage, and what is it about Roger that you like? <sighs> what don't I like about Roger? I mean, his hair, his eyes, his chiseled cheeks his chiseled abs. He's just such a hunk and he's got a deep sexy voice and he's just 
such a good looking guy and he's so much fun to be with and I want to get to know him more and when I look into his eyes I I feel love and whether or not I deserve him that remains to be seen but I hope Roger thinks I'm deserving of his love. So what are your thoughts on each of the contestants? Well, Chloe's hot. She's a little short for me, but she's hot. Yeah, Chloe is hot. And the fact that she's stupid, also hot. I mean, it's like you don't even have to try to lie to her. She just believes everything you say, and if you're like, hey, I want to go make out with your mom, she's like, have fun. That's really hot. But the height thing, it's difficult to make out when she's so short. My feelings on Nikki. She's really hot. And she's tall. She looks super sexy in bikinis. And she always smells good. But she has really big feet. Like, almost as big as mine. And I'm not into feet or anything, but that's just gross. I mean, I've never even seen her wear shoes. I don't think she can fit shoes. Ugh. Yeah, she's always clubbing around on those feet. And I think the reason that her gimmick is always wearing bathing suits is because she doesn't have any shoes. Well... If you got rid of her feet, she'd be the perfect woman. Myla! He's an alright dude. I mean, yeah, he's clean and um, he smells okay and uh, he's kind of feminine, which I guess if I have to have a guy on the show, it's better that he's a little bit feminine and not super macho. You know, can't have too macho dudes like myself in one room. Making out with him was really awkward. So it's taking him out on dates, but gotta keep those ratings up, you know? I mean, everyone loves political correctness and diversity. That's what makes TV sell, you know? I thought you said that hot girls made TV sell. That too, hot girls in bikinis and bisexual dude in bikinis? Hmm. Yeah, that's not something I ever want to see again. Go. Good morning, ladies, uh, and guys. Uh, can everybody come down to, uh, the uh, living room, please. I have an important announcement. Uh, the next rewards challenge. My pizza is here. Yay, pizza! Uh, okay, gather around, Wait, everybody. Where's my pizza? Pizza? What are you talking about? No, it's I not ordered next... pizza. Uh oh. <laughs> well, uh. I'm here about the next rewards challenge. Is it pizza? Is it for pizza? Uh, I can't tell you what the prize is. You have to win first and find out. So, ladies uh, and dude, for the clue for the next rewards challenge is wear a sexy bikini. Yay, bikini! So it's like the whole contest about a bikini? No, that's just how to get ready for the challenge. Yay! Bikinis? Okay, I am ready. We are on. Yeah, when does it start? Uh, you guys have two hours to get ready. Two hours, yay! Pizza! Two hours? To put on a bikini? I mean, it might take me a while, but not that long. All right, I'll see you guys at the beach. So when I heard that the pizza was here, I was really <laughs> excited. Like, I totally forget what I was doing, but pizza is always way more important. I love this house. Pizza, makeup, friends. What couldn't you love? Oh, I'm sorry, I have to pee. When I heard that we were doing this in a bikini. I knew I had this in the bag. I am like the girl to win. I mean, everything I packed for this trip were bikinis. I didn't bring any like regular clothes. I am so ready for this. I really hope Roger likes my bikinis, but I've gotten good reviews on it in the past. I think this challenge is going to be fun. A bikini on the beach. What could go wrong? And besides, even if I lose, I get to see Roger in a bathing suit, I hope. Some of the contestants, I, I feel like I'm surprised they made it to this stage of the game. I mean, they don't really have their priorities straight. They just seem a little unfocused. Welcome contestants to Malibu Beach for your reward challenge. Hi, Roger. Roger, yeah, woo! Hi, hi, hi Roger. So, Today I have something special planned. You're probably wondering, hmm, why did I want you in bikinis? Today we are playing 
volleyball in bikinis, but there are two twists. Mm-hmm. First of all, who is the opponent? We have a special guest star. My one and only wife, Julia. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, son. <laughs> oh, you should make sure you're wearing sunscreen, okay? Okay. Hello, I'm Chloe. Oh my God! Can you believe this? Uh, hi, uh, I'm I'm Milo. <clears throat> I'm Julia. So you will be playing volleyball against Julia. And here is the challenge. First, you are going to chug six glasses of Pepsi. You have to chug all six glasses of Pepsi before you can make it to the next part of the challenge. <laughs> After you've drank your, pep drank your Pepsi, the first one done is the first to get to play volleyball against Julia. And the second one done will be the second to play volleyball against Julia, and so forth. <laughs> After you've guzzled your entire six glasses of Pepsi, and you absolutely must finish all six glasses. And you will be disqualified if you uh, return them. Yes. You know what I mean? So you have to wait for your turn to compete against Julia. Okay. Before we get started, this video, this rewards challenge is sponsored by Pepsi Cola. A drink for all your needs. All right, so let's get to getting. So what challenge do I enjoy more than watching girls in bikinis play volleyball? It's the best. And for the reward, a dinner with me. I really need to get to know my ladies in all different scenarios. Oh, what? Oh, oh and um, <clears throat> and uh, the dude, him too. All right, everyone. We all have our refreshing Pepsi Cola. Six glasses, and I will be counting. I'm dead! Can I play volleyball now? Uh, I finished too. Mm, Alright. Uh, Milo can play first because uh, he said he was done first. Nikki finished second and Chloe finished third. Alright, so Milo, you're my first opponent. That was excellent work, Milo. You can uh, wait over there and see how the other contestants do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that Pepsi was good. <laughs> uh, she all right. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you ready to play? Oh my gosh, Pepsi was so good! <laughs> I'm dizzy. Well, I definitely won that round. <laughs> You, babe, are you all right? I think she's Pepsi drunk. And I don't think the volleyball to the head helped. Nikki! Uh, skirting! Nikki! Nikki, you have to leave the court out. Nikki! Hi. Okay, Chloe, it's your turn. All right. Hey, can I pee first? Uh, no, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to wait till after the challenge. I really have to pee! Uh, you're gonna have to wait until after the challenge. But I really, really, really have to pee! You're going to have to wait. You can't leave the challenge for any reason. <laughs> oh, Chloe, that's disgusting! Uh, I really had to pee! <laughs> disqualify! Disqualify! Chloe, that was disgusting! I disqualify. told you, I had to pee! Oh, disgusting. Now, now I have to the sand. Smells. Ew. Oh, disgusting. Um, well, uh, I guess that's a clear cut winner. Milo, I'll be taking you on a Yeah, I'm dinner so date. excited. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. Thank you, All Nick. Right. Everyone has to return to the house now, and Milo, you'll be preparing for our date. I'll be picking you up in the limo at 6 o'clock sharp. Okay. Honestly, watching the ladies duke it out with my girlfriend on the beach playing volleyball in skimpy bikinis, mm-mm, good. But I'll admit I was disappointed when Milo was doing really well. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really want to take him to dinner. Oh, what? I mean, I'm totally open to guys. After Roger, it was so disinterested in me 
during when we made out last challenge, I felt really insecure and thought I, I wasn't worthy of his love. But then when I started doing really well at volleyball and the other contestants seemed to have such big setbacks, all of a sudden my confidence boosted. I thought I could win this. I could marry this man one day. This challenge was such a letdown. I mean, I was really excited when we got to this episode that we've been planning for a while. You know, the sexy bikini volleyball challenge. I mean, babes in bikinis, but I never expected Milo, the dude, would make it this far. I mean, Roger's only keeping the right. I mean, uh, uh, you know, he's not really Roger's type. And I was really surprised that he won this challenge. And, you know, the whole thing was just kind of a disaster. I mean, Nikki falling in the sand and being disgusting. I mean, I didn't mind it so much when she tried to touch my butt because she was so giggly, but uh, cleaning up Chloe's pee out of his hand later, not so fun. I mean, that's why I don't have a cat, you know? Oh my god, I was so humiliated. I mean, when Chandler pulled me off the set, and I just, I couldn't believe it. I mean, obviously, I haven't had Pepsi in a while, and it went right to my head, and I made such a fool of myself, and when I fell on the sand, I was so embarrassed, and I had tears running down my cheeks. But then when I watched from the sidelines and I saw Chloe urinate all over herself like the disgusting animal that she is, I thought, I could still win this. I mean, Milo doesn't stand a chance. I mean, let's face it, Milo's a guy and Roger likes babes and I'm, I'm a babe. I could totally run away with Roger's wallet. I mean, with Roger. Yeah, I never played volleyball before, so like, Making out was an easy challenge, but volleyball was really hard. It was like doing math and reading really, really hard. But all that Pepsi was great. <sighs> I love Pepsi. Hey, do you guys have Pepsi? Welcome to Le Chat. Oh, thank we you. We have reserved the whole restaurant just for your I, uh, romantic date. Like your suit. Yeah, <laughs> I like yours. Thank I you. am Leonardo. I would be Milo. waiter for the evening. Oh. This is your dinner? And your boyfriend. Hi, Roger. Milo, so good to see you. I, mm. uh, <laughs> I got these flowers for you. Oh, thank you, Roger. They smell lovely. <laughs> Here, uh, sit down. Thank you. Milo, uh, you were impressive at the, at the reward challenge today. Oh, thank you. You, you were impressive, too. So, uh, Milo, why is it that you want to be with me, Dr. Roger? Well, it's just, I mean, when I look into your eyes and your hair and the way it falls onto your face, and it cascades and you're just so, so gorgeous. Oh, uh, <coughs> thank you. So, uh, how have things in the Maybe house been? I'm sure been? you already know that. Well, of course. <laughs> Nikki's riddled with jealousy that I'm here with you. I bet. How about, uh, how about Chloe? Oh, well, uh, last time I saw her, she was just talking to Chandler. Mm. I knew there would be a problem. <laughs> Are you prepared for the immunity challenge? Yes, I, I'm excited to find out what it is. Oh, well, it's going to be pretty unbelievable. If you can go strong for your m immunity challenge like you did today, you'll be guaranteed a spot in next week's elimination, the final two. Oh, I want it to be just the two of us. I, I really hope to win your hand, Roger. Uh, yeah, totally. Have this dinner? Oh, it's delicious. We chicken, lobster, spaghetti. It's amazing. We have an available space on the patio for a romantic dance for two, and lots of seclusive areas for kissing. <laughs> Oh, Roger! Oh, yes, I, uh, I really planned this evening well, didn't I? You sure did. I had this really romantic, really sexy date planned. And I'll admit, Milo was really not the one I was hoping would win this challenge. What? I mean, uh, yeah, I was totally stoked to be getting to know Milo way better, you know? I mean, that makeout session wasn't enough or anything. Anyways. I treat all my girls to the very best. French food from Le Chat. Everyone knows it's a five-star French restaurant with sexy hot waitresses. 
But then of course we had to get the dude. There's not enough wine in the world for that. I was so ecstatic to have on this special day with Roger at Le Shop. I had such a good time getting to know Roger and looking into Roger's eyes and the way his hair falls just so. He's such a hunk. <sighs> I want to get to know this hunk better. It was such a good time. And I feel like our conversation was deep and meaningful and the shot was really good. I mean, it wasn't quite as good as Cocoa's venison, you know, that he makes himself, but it was a good time anyway and I wasn't thinking about Cocoa at all. Ladies and guys, come on down here. I have a surprise for all of you. Yay! It's Roger! Roger's here! Roger's, Roger's here! here. Roger's, Roger's here! here. Roger's here. Yay, Roger! Calm down, ladies. Calm down. Yay! Oh, I was so happy to see you. Oh my gosh, you're in our house! Hi, Roger! Uh, oh, Milo, whoa, take it easy. <gasps> it's so good to see you, Roger. Yay! But uh, that's not all. So first, why don't you guys sit? Uh, okay. I want to tell you guys about tonight's immunity challenge. Okay. Well, first of all, uh, the immunity challenge is happening right now. What? Shut what? up! Yay! And, I love uh, ice cream. You can say ice cream dimwit. There, no one will be getting immunity tonight because it's the final three. No, I just what? Sorry. But. What's the point in the challenge? Well, someone is still going to be going home. Yes. Based on tonight's challenge. So, you'll want to do your best. Now, I got my production crew to make a lot of phone calls so we could invite a special guest from your personal lives here on the show. Oh my god! So, let's bring in the first special guest. Chloe, this is for you. It's your ex-boyfriend, Eaton. Yay! That's surprising. Uh, oh, calm down, Chloe. You smell like cheese doodles. Yay! All right. And for you, Nikki, we have your ex-boyfriend. What? Shut up, Dominic! Oh my god, this isn't happening. Tell me this isn't happening. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Hi. Good, I'm in the final three. Fabulous. And last but not least, for you don't Milo, need that. You're just jealous. Any guesses for who will come for you? Is it? Could it be? Oh my God! Yes! Coco. Oh. Coco. Milo. Hey. I, I. I suppose I should should hug you. It's, it's nice to see you. Yeah. That nice to see you too. So I'm going to be meeting with each of you and your ex lovers to talk about us, to talk about your past relationships, and get a feel for why it didn't work out. Oh, Milo. I've missed you. I've, I've missed you too. Eaton, I want to know a little bit about you and Chloe's relationship so I can have an idea about what it would be like dating Chloe. Well, uh, honestly, we weren't really ever official. I mean, kind of just made out whenever she was hanging out with my sister, he's mean. But, uh, yeah, it was hot. And, uh, you know, we still casually hook up. Oh, so that's why you two are in good terms then? Oh yeah, totally. You know, I have to say, I really admire what you're doing here. A bunch of hot chicks in a house in bikinis doing I thought it was a great idea. I know. So, um, why uh, did you and Chloe stop seeing each other? Well, like I said, we didn't. I mean, there was never really a problem. I see, I see. So, Chloe, if you still have uh, something going on with Eaton, why are you competing for Roger's hand at marriage? Who's Roger? Marriage? I don't want to get married. I just want to have fun, you know? Put on my favorite bikini and go on a water slide and hang out in the hot tub and drink a cold Pepsi. Hmm. Oh, she's got the right idea. Uh, you wanted to be a contestant on the Roger of Love. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, do you guys want to, like, go to McDonald's? Honestly, I was afraid Chloe's ex was going to beat me up. You know, he's a tough-looking dude, but they seem to have a really good rapport. It makes me think that Chloe's a laid-back girl, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Someone who's open to trying new things. Someone who doesn't get her panties in a bunch when you forget her birthday or your anniversary. I can really see myself being with Chloe. Chloe! She's blonde and she's hot and Roger says that the making out was good and 
you know, I quite agree with him. Making out with Chloe is nice. I, not that I would know. And, uh, I like that she's, you know, kind of simple and, you know, she doesn't look into things too deeply. I mean, she probably wouldn't even notice we have, like, three other girls on the side. Hey, are you done, like, your interview so we can make out? Yeah. Yeah, I was, like, really excited to see you. He's, like, my Biffle. Well, actually, Yasmin is my Biffle, and I would have been a lot more happy to see Yasmin. But, like, it was really fun getting to, like, meet everybody, you know? But, like, there weren't any snacks. You didn't bring me any snacks. You didn't bring me anything. I have to pee again, and I'm hungry. I gotta tell you, I have mad respect for Roger. Getting a group of a bunch of hot babes in a house where they have to do competitions where they roll in the mud in bikinis. <sighs> He's a genius, really. This man should write a book. I have no problem with him dating Chloe. I mean, A, I was never really a one woman kind of man anyways, and you have to respect a dude who has his hustle, who has his side chicks, and whose girlfriend is okay with that. Dominic, I really appreciate you coming here on such short notice, but it's very important to me to see what kinds of relationships my girls had before they came to this house. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. I, uh, I do get paid for this, right? Uh, you'd have to talk to my assistant, Chandler. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, we do, uh, do some, uh, pay to the guest stars. So, uh, Chandler, do you have some questions for them? Do you guys want to explain why you're not together anymore? Because Nikki's a terrible person and a gold digger. What? No! We're not together anymore because Dominic is a liar. I am not a liar. You just assume because I wear this outfit, my name is Prince Dominic, that I stood to inherit tons of money or that I lived in a castle. That was on you, boo. Uh, no, you lied! You said you were a prince. Prince is in your title. No. My problem is that he has no money. My problem is that he is a liar. I'm not a golden. That's not true. You always wanted us to go on those lavish vacations and to those fancy foreign restaurants like La Chan, La Chen. Well, Roger, can you blame me for wanting to go on vacations to tropical locations when I look so good in bathing suits? Mmm, bathing suits. Yeah. Yeah, bathing suits, huh? Uh-huh. Mmm. Uh, are you guys okay? You look so glazed over. Uh, yeah, we're good. Mm-hmm. Wow, Nikki's true colors were revealed. What a gold digger. I mean, what she did to Dominic was just terrible. Dumping him because he doesn't have money. I mean, what if she finds out that I was just renting this house and I'm actually totally broke? But still, she's really hot and I love that she always wears the bikini. <laughs> I've never even had a job, though. So the whole making money to keep her happy thing, that could be difficult. I can respect a gold digger. You know, working isn't fun. And why work when you can live with your mom or freeload off a, a significant other? Right? I get Nikki. When Dominic walked in, I was so angry. I mean, what? Does he think he's gonna spill a tea on me and turn Roger against me? Uh, uh-uh, not gonna happen. I mean, seriously. When Roger looks into my eyes, he sees love, and when I look into his eyes, I see money. I mean love. It's not my fault that Dominic lied to me about having money. I mean, Prince Dominic. The name implies that he has money. It's not my fault that I dated him thinking he had money and that he doesn't have money and I dumped him. I mean, he's not even that good looking anyway. I'm not really into that curly hair. I mean, Roger's more of a dreamboat. And Roger has this beautiful house. I was so angry when I was requested to come on Nikki's behalf, but on the other hand, humiliating her on national television in front of millions of people to learn what kind of gold digger she is, that was pretty sweet. But revealing my true financial status, that was embarrassing. You know, even though Nikki is a gold digger and only cares about money, she is really hot. And I'd totally take her back if she allowed it, but... I'm seeing this new chick named Annalise, and she also uh, is really hot, but she comes from money. Well, uh, Coco, I'm gonna thank you for coming in today. I appreciate it. Oh, you are, uh, you are most welcome. So, uh, how long did you and uh, nice to see you again. Milo go out? It is nice to see you. Oh, uh, we've been together on and off for uh, most of a year. Wow, a year, that long. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever stuck to one woman or man that long. We are in spiritual partnership with uh, John Smith and Pocahontas. Hmm, with a girl. 
And see Pocahontas. also, uh, we uh, see Quasimodo. Pocahontas has a YouTube channel. She's pretty banging. Mmm, yeah. Uh, her uh, hippy dippy thing's not for me, though. Mm, no, but she's hot. It's all that really matters, right? I mean, I'm a carnivore. I couldn't eat with her. So, uh, why did you stop seeing You realize that other? chick doesn't eat any meat, right? I don't care. Uh, but how would you guys go out to eat? I'd eat meat and she wouldn't. Not my problem. I don't she rolls that way. <laughs> so, Milo, Kokum, tell me, why did you two break up? There is no problem with Milo. Milo is perfect. I, I think the problem in relation is, is me. Oh, Kokum, you don't have to say it. No, I, I do. I mean, I feel like, you know, since uh, Dr. Dracula ran for president and I uh, went with him as uh, his VP, I feel like, you know, I haven't had as much time for Milo because I've been so busy, you know, answering Dr. Dracula's phone and buying Dr. Dracula his Pepsi and, you know, helping him with his, uh, his business and, <clears throat> and, you know, Milo, I was acting jealous. I, I assumed that, you know, because you're attracted to men and Dracula is a man with lovely pink skin that something would happen between you but Dracula is only interested in women and, and I have no attraction to Dracula. Just this Fred. is awkward. And uh, you know, other problem is that uh, Milo enjoys me so much that he wants to be more committed and I I was not ready but it's all on me and if, if I could go back in time I would spend more time with Milo and Spend less time with Dr. Dracula. Yeah, so that's a cute story. So, uh, would you describe Milo as needy? Like he, he couldn't be away from you? Cause you know, I got love with you. Sometimes I go a few weeks, maybe a few months without seeing my girls. <gasps> needy? Oh, oh, because of the glasses? Huh? Oh, I thought you said nerdy. Uh, no, I, I don't think he's needy. I think he's great. Jealousy issues? No, no. Yes, I, I had some jealousy issues, but hmm. yes, but uh, if you're gonna be with me, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm not a one person kind of guy. But I thought this show was about marriage. <laughs> well, it's TV, Milo. Don't be so naive. I mean, uh, I uh, I do hope to find love in my life. Milo, it's it's just all my fault. I, if I could go back in time, I would be more committed. So, uh, that about wraps up our interview. Um, me and Chandler are gonna go walk the boardwalk and pick up some chicks. Did I, did I kiss my ex-boyfriend goodbye? Uh, I guess? Okay. Mmm. Thank you. That was a whole new level of awkward. Yeah, tell me about it, I mean. Uh, this whole thing has made me very uncomfortable. It was weird meeting Milo's ex, but I can't say I was surprised to see it was some Native American dude with long, girlish hair. Kokum was okay, I mean, he smelled alright, and at least he was wearing clothes mostly. I was afraid he was gonna wear a bikini or something when Chandler first told me that Milo's boyfriend was coming. Why couldn't have his hot girlfriend Esmeralda or Pocahontas have come? Have you seen them? Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Coco and Milo relationship seems a bit dysfunctional. I think that they're still hung up on each other. But I don't really think Roger really is into the Milo that much anyway, so it wasn't really disappointing. When Coco and walked through that door, my heart just fell down to my feet. I, I couldn't believe it. I was, I was so happy to see him and so ashamed. And I, I didn't know what to do. Am I still in love with Kokum? Do I want to marry Roger? Could I really commit to only one man? I just don't know anymore. I'm so confused. I was so nervous when I found out that the immunity challenge was not based on our performance, but what our exes had to say about us. I mean, I was really nervous, but Kokum, he didn't let me down. He said some really nice things about me, and I really still love Kokum, and I mean, oh, how do I feel about my chances with Roger? I feel like Kokum didn't hurt my chances of getting together with Roger, and I, I feel like the challenge was really good. One of my best yet. Seeing Milo again today, it was... It just brought back so many memories, like the time we made out with Quasimodo on the beach, and that pool party we had the Draculas, and... Oh, and we went hunting wild guinea board together. 
we have so many good times and you know of all my significant others and spiritual partners I I feel like I connect most with Milo and you know I'm really sad that he is thinking about pursuing this Roger for long-term commitment I mean if I was to long-term commitment I think it would probably be with Milo of all my spiritual partners and you know liaisons I, I think Milo is is the man for me but he feels the man for him is Roger and I am very sad. Good evening ladies and gent. Well as you know tonight we're down to the final three but only two of you can make it to the finale episode. I want you to know that I've gotten to spend enough time with each of you to feel something in my heart and perhaps in a different place in a different time we all could have had something special but as you know only one of you can walk away with my hand in marriage so who will it be? Nikki Yes. these past few weeks you've been really hot oh, thank even you. though you totally flopped the reward challenge today. You looked hot being totally Pepsi drunk on the sand. I'm sorry I'm such a lightweight. And maybe if you got plastic surgery on your feet, everything would be perfect. I, I would do it for you, Roger. Milo. Yes? You're very devoted to me. Perhaps the most devoted of all the contestants on you this know show. It. But I just still feel that our physical chemistry is lacking. Despite your efforts. Oh. Chloe. You are also super hot. Thanks! But the whole peeing thing at the reward challenge was super not hot. I know, but I still think we could have something great together. If you could just work on your bladder control. Totally! Recent events have changed to the original outcome of this episode. I have been informed that one of the contestants broke the house rules. <gasps> so, tonight, one of you will be leaving, but because of disqualification. Milo, please step forward. I would never do anything against house rules, Roger. Milo, you know that we have hidden cameras all over the house, right? Yes! Well, today I checked the footage and... We caught you doing something scandalous with your ex who we brought on the show for the immunity challenge. No, I, I would never! Roll the clip. Hey, Milo. I'm not supposed to be meeting you here. Mm, I know, but... Mm, I have been thinking about you all day, even when I was out to dinner with Roger. Mm, mm. Oh, yes. Uh, would you like to, uh, to go in the hot tub? Uh, but I didn't bring bathing suit. That's okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Milo, in light of you betraying my trust and making out with a dude in my hot tub, which is totally gross. Roger, please no. I'm going to have to send you home. Give me your heart. No, please Milo, don't break my heart. It's been real. <laughs> no! Goodbye, Milo. No! <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's finale when the two hot babes left over duke it out from my heart. This was a difficult decision. At this point in the game, I, I have feelings for everyone involved. So saying goodbye, it's like ripping my heart into a million pieces. But when I found out that Milo took his ex-boyfriend, who I invited into my rented house, into my rented hot tub, to make out without clothes on, of course I was upset. My heart was torn. So I, I had to let him go. But at least I have two great girls who are totally 100% committed to me and didn't make out with any of their exes. I was really sad to see Miles go. He was a fun housemate. Yeah, and like he always cooked for me. Sometimes it was weird things like squid and stuff, but it was still better than always having to wait for the pizza guy. And you know, at least like, What's his name? Chad? Chadler? Chandler! At least he's still on the show. He's my favorite to make out with. He's even better than Roger. I wonder where he is. I'm gonna find him. 
<laughs> I'm sort of sorry to see my loco. I mean, you know, the best way to get to the top would be to eliminate Chloe first because she's my real competition at the end of the day. I mean, she's an easy, I mean, easygoing blonde, and Milo, well, he's a dude with glasses. I mean, he's just not Roger's type, and yeah, Roger might be keeping him around for ratings now, but at the end of the day, I never really expected Roger to, like, choose him for the ratings. I mean, once you get to the end of the show, you can't really boost your ratings anymore anyway, right? So, you know, naturally... Chloe's my real competition, and I have to take out Chloe, and I'm thinking I might resort to something bad, like putting laxatives in her food. I mean, how could she not have gone home after she messed herself at the beach? <sighs> Unbelievable. I was really surprised when I lost. I didn't realize that taking a go home to the jacuzzi was a breach of, <laughs> of etiquette. <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, Roger brings girls here all the time, and I saw Chloe with Chandler last night. I had no idea that, you know, bringing in my ex-boyfriend onto the jacuzzi was wrong. But I'm glad I lost. Hey, Milo, do you want to get a soda? Oh, definitely with you, of course. I think it was for the best. I think Coco and I were meant to be. Yes, we were meant to be. You know, I don't expect you to commit to me unless you want to. I, th I think I might want to. And, you know, I'm sorry I was so mad at you about how much time you were spending with Dr. Dracula on his political campaign. I know that he's not into you like that at all and that you don't have feelings for him and I don't know why I was so jealous and resentful of you doing other things. I know I lost but at the end of the day I, I feel like the winner. today. <laughs> I think we could have a long talk about happy relationship. I... <laughs> um, oops. I have one more thing to make Milo say. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> 